every single day, customers come into my store to tell me that they don't cook with extra virgin olive oil because avocado oil has a higher smoke point. Can you believe that? That's one of the biggest myths I've ever heard. And what scientists found actually changes everything we knew about cooking oils. My name is Vitina and this avocado oil myth is spread everywhere, you know, from social media, from cooking shows, even from professional chefs. But how did this myth spread so far? And the answer is simple. We all tend to repeat what we hear without really checking the facts. That's why today we're going to let science clear this up once and for all. At Papa Vince, our goal, our goal, our mission has always been to provide the best extra virgin olive oil backed up by science. The research from multiple scientific studies shows something fascinating about extra virgin olive oil. When you expose extra virgin olive oil to heat, its high, its high antioxidant content is what sets it apart from any other cooking oil, including avocado oil. That's right. It's not just about the flavor. It's about how these oils perform when they are exposed to heat. In this video, you'll discover how the smoke point of the avocado oil changes over time in comparison with extra virgin olive oil and why these matters more than the initial smoke point that everybody talks about. How avocado oil degrades while heating, producing more polar compounds and aldehydes than extra virgin olive oil. Why the natural antioxidants in extra virgin olive oil actually, actually changes how extra virgin olive oil performs when heated. How these antioxidants produce a protective effect that avocado oil doesn't have. And practical considerations for using both oils in your kitchen. First, we'll use scientific testing to compare how these two oils behave under heat. Finally, I'll give you practical guidance on how to use both of these oils in your kitchen. A 2018 study published in ACTA, Scientific Nutritional Health, compared uh, cooking oils, including avocado and extra virgin olive oil under identical test conditions at temperatures of 240 centigrades, which is hotter than typical cooking temperatures. For context, most electric stove cooking, cooking happens between 250 and 450 Fahrenheit. Quick disclaimer, these findings only apply to electric stove cooking and traditional cooking conditions. No open flame cooking like grilling or gas stove where comb combustion, combustion temperatures can exceed 1,000 Fahrenheit. Now, you probably have heard about a smoke point, right? Yes, is that mysterious number that seed oil companies have been using for years to convince us which oils are best for cooking. If you saw our smoke point video, you know that there is a little bit more to that story. But let me quickly recap why a smoke point alone is misleading. The truth is that it's not just about the initial smoke point of the oil. No, it's about how that smoke 
point changes over time when the oil is heated. This is where the real difference between avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil becomes real. According to laboratory measurements, extra virgin olive oil measure at 404 Fahrenheit, while avocado oil measure at 386. Surprise! Most people are because there is this common belief that avocado oil has a higher smoke point than extra virgin olive oil, but it's not just about the smoke point. It's about how it changes over time when heated because the smoke point degrading over time also means the cooking oil degrading while you are cooking. But here is where it gets really interesting. Laboratory testing show what really happens when both these oils are heated for six hours at 350 Fahrenheit. Extra virgin olive oil smoke point drop from 402 to 364 Fahrenheit. On the other hand, avocado oil dropped from 384 to 289, almost 100 points. Extra virgin olive oil only produced 8.4 seven percent of polar compounds avocado oil produced 11.60 percent of polar compounds that is a 37 percent difference that means that avocado oil is breaking down faster this means that avocado oil is less stable for frying producing more harmful compounds like polar compounds and aldehydes. What are polar compounds? Polar, com polar compounds are compounds that are formed when oil breaks down under heat. Many health authorities suggest that oils with less amounts of this compounds are preferable for cooking. Different authorities recommend different threshold, but pretty much they all suggest to stay below 24 to 27% of this type of compounds. This is why it's so important not to reuse your cooking oil just the way they do it in restaurants. The key difference between extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil is their inherent antioxidant content. Laboratory testing shows that extra virgin olive oil contains polyphenol, which is a type of antioxidant, and is found 10 times higher than in avocado oil. From the studies, we can see that this level of antioxidants seem to play an important role in the way the oils react under heat. One such compound is hydrocytorsol, which is found in extra virgin olive oil, and research suggests that it contributes significantly to the stability of extra virgin olive oil when cooking and also to the stability of the food that is being cooked. Is this variant antioxidants that actually are contributing to the remarkable difference of how extra virgin olive oil reacts on the heat in comparison with all other cooking oils. Extra virgin olive oil was the most heat resistant. Extra virgin olive oil was the most resistant to oxidation, not only in comparison with uh, avocado, oil, but in comparison with 
coconut oil and nine other seed oils. In the study, even the super high smoke point seed oils perform worse than extra virgin olive oil under heat. What actually happened in the study is that the oils that had the highest smoke point were the ones that experienced the largest decrease when exposed to heat over time. And this actually makes perfect sense because more refined oils have higher smoke points. So of course, the, of course, the seed oil companies want to convince you that the high smoke point is the most important so that they can sell you the cheapest of the cheap oils and make you feel good about it. So what does this laboratory research suggest for everyday cooking? Let me share some practical considerations based on the results of this research. According to the lab test, when it comes to cooking, which includes uh, frying, saute, and roasting, extra virgin olive oil perform well in, heat, in the heat stability test. It produced significantly lower um, polar compounds when heated, about 8.47%, it adds a distinctive flavor to dishes. Now let's do the avocado oil. The smoke point dropped 86 Fahrenheit degrees during prolonged cooking. It produced more polar compounds during heating. 11.6% offers a more neutral flavor profile. Some people prefer it when they don't want a pronounced oil flavor. If you are shopping for extra virgin olive oil, here are some things that you should be considered for quality. Look for a glass dark bottle. Make sure you check for the harvest date. Also make sure you check for the fact that it's first cold press and more important, look for the antioxidants. Go to the nutritional panel and see if it has vitamin E. Vitamin E is an important antioxidant that kind of gives you a clue of how many polyphenols this extra virgin olive oil is gonna have. Also, check out our YouTube video that goes in detail into this topic. From a nutritional point of view, avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil, they both contain monounsaturated fats. From the action, antioxidant point of view, again, you know, extra virgin olive oil, good quality extra virgin olive oil contains about 20% of vitamin E of your daily value required and avocado contains about 10%. To maintain freshness for either oil, make sure you store in a cool, dark place. Make sure that the bottles are tight, tightly tight. Um, make sure you know that you use it before the expiration date and check for rancidity. In conclusion, the lab tests have just proved that extra virgin olive oil is not just different, it's better. The presence of antioxidants in extra virgin olive oil makes this oil more stable for cooking, more resistant to heat, as a result, it produces less harmful compounds when cooking. This isn't just about cooking, but it's reclaiming the wisdom that our ancestors had for generations. Real, authentic food like extra virgin olive oil contains compounds just as nature designed them. Though avocado oil has certainly its place, it's not really an old tradition. It's a recent invention that is no older than 100 years. On the other hand, extra virgin olive oil is thousands and thousands of years old. And now that science is finally catching up, is proving that this is the best oil to cook with. It's clear that extra virgin olive oil, high antioxidant, 
profile is what gives extra virgin olive oil such an stability when exposed to high heat. And more and more research is proving so. Antioxidants are a great hero on its own, and science is proving over and over and over how good they are for health. At Papa Beans, our mission has always bring to you the best extra virgin olive oil with the highest amount of antioxidants possible. Not because it's trendy, but because we believe that real traditional food is the best source of your well-being. Food is medicine. And this is why we regularly test this extra virgin olive oil so that we can deliver to you the best possible. If you want to see the lab test result of our extra virgin olive oil and its antioxidants and polyphenol levels, just please check the detailed report that is provided on our website. We have put together an amazing breakdown that shows exactly why our extra virgin olive oil has such high antioxidant properties. You'll find the link to a lab test page in the description below. Now, I would love to hear from you. Were you surprised to learn that extra virgin olive oil is actually more stable, heat stable than avocado oil? Do you still consider that the smoke point is more important than anything else? Please let me, let me know in the comments below. And if you love busting food, food meat, then <laughs> you should check our video where we expose how high smoke point is really a misleading term. It's in red ink below. And if this video helped you see through all the marketing myth about cooking oil, please give us a thumb up and share this video with all your friends and family that care about eating the best food. And please don't forget to subscribe for more food-based wisdom that supports tradition and science. Hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest findings. Until next time, nourish yourself with real food.